Brewer from TC Electronics, one of my favorite joints I've ever hanging out with. You guys here, and it's been five years. I've got a beard now, lots of stuff going on. It's a beautiful day. All we can do is really get on it, I guess, and uh, then we can relax and have some drinks and eat oh, yeah. something, probably. Good All right, man. I'll take you guys in. It's been, it's been a while, but it looks kind of the same. We got Mojave Lords, Earthlings, Andy. Hey guys. We got the shit Hi. visiting, Panty Christ. Fancy Finalizing some shit for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a, a, a cheese and meat plate going. That's pretty cheese pretty plate. sweet. Um, Davy has made a cheese plate. This is going to be the new board. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm putting everything together now and trying to see which ones make the, the cut so far. All of this has made the cut, and I'm trying to pull a couple of other guys in. The Earthquaker devices has made the cut. And definitely we'll have a Wawa and a Roto Vibe. Quite possibly a Swollen Pickle. Oh, and we should find the, the other new pedals. Oh, well, of course we've got my new pedal that I did with Dr. No. He actually did everything. I just told him what we should do, which is a Buzz Octave Wah flying machine. I have pedal design envy right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. He uh, put a little story about us on the bottom. They're signed and numbered. I, I think he made 70, I believe. We'll have to, I'll have to talk to him about that. But the detail on this is incredible. Like just the rubber, what do you call this? The foot? Uh, yeah, the treadle or something. The treadle. Yeah. I don't know what I it's called. I don't know. But it has lots of switches and gizmos on there. Fuzz, octave, and wah. And flying wings. And the yeah. Size, which always makes That's why I'm having to hold better. it, because otherwise it will fly away. Dr. No has been making some really cool stuff. So I got to show the other one. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, when you thought that was the cool shit, then, you know. You got the, <laughs> the, the Ford Falcon Fuzz right there. <laughs> and um, we're going to plug these in later and just check out what everything sounds like. Mantic brought over some cool little pedals for us to try out. I have to let you guys see what these are about. They do some crazy stuff. I'm looking stuff. forward to hearing those as well. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And everything's really good. We've had a busy time since I last saw you guys. Yeah. We did a uh, Foo Fighter Sonic Highways. That was like a week of having yeah. them here. That was fun. Joe Walsh came out. And oh, cool. He played guitar, one of my heroes. A lot of bands that people admire their sounds and technique. And so they get interested in coming here, and then when they come, they enjoy it because it's a different, you can uh, immerse yourself here. There's less to do yeah. to take your mind off, so you get here and you're, you know, you can cook in the studio in the middle of, you know, yeah. I'm rattling yeah. pots and pans and that gets on it. But um, a, honestly, a lot of bands said they like recording here because it is so small and that they're forced to, like, be in one room and... And you know, not that that happens all the time, but a lot of people like that because they're they're really close. And yeah, we got to be a band again. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's not like in this giant <laughs> army hangar no, where yeah. like you don't even you're looking for the drummer. Yeah. There's tons of studios and there's tons of good studios, but yeah. there's there are some that are special because they have a sound. Yeah, I yeah. Think this very much applies here. There's a specific sound that you know, I think. I, I think that you can almost tell if an album has been made here, yeah, even I, without knowing that it's... I agree, I agree. There, there's definitely certain, especially the piano, you hear that, on, I, I do definitely yeah. hear that on certain things, and I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. And the drums have this sound in here. It's really amazing though, for such a small kit, it has many different, you know, it goes from jazz to country to rock. Yeah. And the thing here, most people come here quickly. There's not a large budget. A lot of bands I work with are, we've got a budget for nine days. And yeah. that's, we come in, we record, we mix, and we leave in nine days. So they're like, oh yeah, these are already mic'd up and let's, let's yeah, just go. go. Yeah. Myself and my friends are more interested in just the song than, yeah. than supersonically, I don't know. I guess it depends on if bands come in with a song that they have. Yeah. Then I can work with like, oh, you want the kick to do this and that. Yeah. but. For me, it's more of just like, we're having fun, let's just, yeah. the mics are up, let's just play, and then we'll sort it out later. I moved here in 99, but uh, I started the studio with Fred Drake in 93. Okay. I, I was actually living in New Orleans at the time, and we were friends, and 
our friend was selling some gear, our friend Dean Chamberlain, and Fred called me up and said he wanted to start a studio with me in Joshua Tree. And there I was in New Orleans with <laughs> okay. no expectations of coming to here anytime soon, but he moved out and decided he wanted to start a studio. And next thing I know, we've got a studio here. Honestly, my only tip is just to have fun with it and don't get caught up with specifics of trying to capture something that's impossible to capture or just trying too hard. But yeah, I think if you just, you know, if you have some cool guitars and cool amps and a good singer, and I mean, it's all going to be fine. Reminds me, cool guitars. You showed us a couple of new guitars you got. Oh yeah, yeah, want to check that? Yeah. It's a 1961 Melody Maker. It's really beautiful. The checking is uh, awesome. Yeah, it's cool. And uh, it plays and sounds so killer. All original. Sounds amazing. It was 1961, you said? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I think it's an early, mid-80s custom. I guess they're like the 58 uh, reissue yeah. or something yeah. from the 80s. But I've never seen one with black and gold. No, it looks super, super cool. I really love this. And it sounds and plays great, too. So that was a very nice gift from the Nassers. Everybody likes something different, you know? Yeah. So, some people pick up this crazy Tysco and they think that's the best guitar in here. Somebody else picks up the Troy Yamaha. They think that's cool. So it's like volume and, and treble. I'm not sure all of them work perfectly. That's the beauty of old guitars. Right? Yeah, you just pick them up and they make you do something yeah. that you're not really expecting. Check this out. I'll have to turn on some lights back here. I use it all the time, actually. And I think I told you before, it's, it's one of my favorite synthesizer amps. That we, we use it for synthesizer with the Earthlings. But yeah, it's in here. So this, this is kind of the bass room right now. We've been using that a lot. I use this for some stuff we've been using. <laughs> and everything else is just kind of the same. I think this is the, all the same when you guys are back here. And the Super, the super Reverb is still my favorite amp that I've got. Yeah, the red one. That's what I used to use for Eagles of Death Metal Live. A super reverb hit? You don't see yeah. that very often. I got it on eBay, and uh, I think someone just made it. Yeah. They, they did a pretty good job of making it look like that. And then at some point, someone told me that they heard that they actually did make a few of those at okay. one point, but I don't think they did. No. I think somebody just cut something in half because all the speakers in it are mismatched. They're they're, they're not Fender speakers. Okay. They're like, I don't even know what they are. Is it tense? Like a... Like it's four tens, yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. So it is really a super reverb. Just yeah, like it's it's the best amp. It just sounds. I love them. Yeah, I think if I put real speakers in it, it would probably not sound as cool. No, the custom is cool as well. The custom. Gotta, Hutch got that at the swap meet for me. I think he paid fifty bucks for really? it. Really? Yeah. That's a good one. It it kind of goes from clean to extreme distortions. But thanks for showing us around. Man, my pleasure. It's always great having you guys out. We can we can relax now. Yeah. And have some <laughs> work has been done. Yeah, what's your head?